good evening beloved friends this is darki your co-mate with ignu first of all i would like to tell something about the sonnets um the sonnet is fundamentally a short lyric a stylish 14 lines poem that developed in italy in the middle ages there are broadly three styles of sonnets which are petrarchan spenserian and shakespearean petrarchan sonnets are those which were common in his in that era they consist of octave eight lines and a sestet which are six liners the first eight lines of the sonnet introduces a problem express a desire presence or situation that causes doubt or problem the set state's purpose as a whole is to make a comment on the problem or apply a solution to it now we come with the spenserian sonnets these consists of three quatrains and one final couplet which is known as the heroic couplet the rhyme scheme of spenser is a b a b b c b c c d c d e e spenser chose to structure the sonnet in this way so that there was less of an emphasis on the problem or solution or questions or arguments format spenser sonnets do not necessarily pose the answer to a question here we come with the shakespearean sonnets which consists of three quatrains and a concluding couplet similar to which spenser wrote but the rhyme scheme is dissimilar to that of spenser the rhyme scheme that shakespeare used was very simple a b a b c d c d e f e f g g format shakespeare used to structure his poems rather his sonnets to explore the multifaceted of a theme in the short piece uh, this was about the sonnets uh, now i would like to tell something about amoretti amoretti is a sonnet cycle written by edmund spenser who is known as the poet's poet which was coined by charles lamb which uh, this amoretti was written in 16th century in the tradition of petrarchan sonnets it was first published in 1595 in london by william hostonby uh, it is uh, this sonnet is a sequence of 89 sonnets thematically amoretti portrays spenser's courtship and marriage with elizabeth boyle these sonnets celebrate a happy and successful love we have a uh, amoretti 30 uh, sonnet 34 in our syllabus it's like as a ship here edmund spenser's amoretti chronicles his courtship with his wife elizabeth boyle it was originally published in 1595 as i have said before and loosely follows the petrarchan sonnet model petrarch wrote his sonnets about women that he would never be able to obtain while spenser in his amoretti wrote about a single woman whom he did marry sonnet uh, sonnet 34 appears to describe a break in spenser's relationship with elizabeth it seems like they had a fight and spenser is binding his time until she forgives him this poem has three four line stanzas called the quatrains and a couplet the poetic devices used in this poem are metaphor simile and personification the rhyme scheme of the poem is a b a b b c b c c d c d e e written in the iambic pentameter form then we have amoretti sonnet 67 which is like as a huntsman the summary of sonnet 67 is it it begins with a huntsman in pursuit of his game his stock prey a deer has gotten away from him he is tired of spending all the time hunting this deer and so he sits down in the shade to rest with his dogs and decides to give up his hunt for the deer but then the deer comes back from the way it had gone to drink from the nearby stream 
the deer sees the hunter sitting there in the shade and seeing that he is no longer hunting her she decides that he is not a threat and she comes straight to him without fear because of the deer's trust the hunter was then able to easily rope about her neck and capture her he then notes how strange it is to see a wild animal so tame to be caught in that way this is literal sense of the poem the rhyme scheme of the poem as its suspenses sonnet is a b a b b c b c c d c d and e this is a three four line stanzas which is known as the quatrains and it has one heroic couplet the poetic devices used in this poem are metaphor simile and personification the theme of sonnet 67 is there uh, the sonnet mentions a huntsman chasing after a deer using context clues and uh, after analyzing the poem the theme of this sonnet is love because it refers to the man trying to win the love of his life now this is amrity 77 love as feast amrity is a feeling a uh, name for the sonnet written about a feast of love the poet has transformed the word love into something tangible love is not something you can see or taste you can only feel it the sonnet describes love as a feast now through the perspective of the poem you cannot only feel love you are able to taste it and experience the pleasures of love as a feast the narrator emphasizes how decadent this feast is by explaining how one will go to this feast and experience something so wonderful it should be sinful he writes exceeding sweet yet vowed of sinful vice that many sought yet none could ever taste this feast was such an event that even a prince was there the fruit was brought by the god and love himself how amazing must that fruit taste the poem as a suspenseful sonnet is rhymed in ab ab bc bc cd cd ee -E. and it has also three four line stanzas which are quatrains and a heroic couplet the poetic devices used in this poem are metaphor and allusions i didn't include the slides of rtc but uh, all are there in my notes so if you wish you may have a glimpse of those in my notes i have written six uh, rtcs for 67 and 77 only and i have explained uh, with reference and context along with explanation and critical appreciation and everything i have written mentioned there and uh, so um, i have end my presentation i have tried my level best to incorporate all the relevant points hope this would be some use to you and thank you all for listening so patiently and uh, my sincere warm regards to you and 